Hey guys, it's Kat and welcome to today's journal with me in which I'm just gonna be doing a nice little random spread, just a spread that I did for fun, no real like direction or like purpose, but just some nice little art, a lot of layering. But then for this voiceover, I'm gonna be talking about some things that I should have done like a while ago, maybe a month or two ago. I can't even remember, it's been so long. But I asked you guys on my Instagram stories, follow me on Instagram if you aren't, it's always linked down below. I asked you guys for questions or topics for my voiceovers for my journal with me's, and I got a lot of questions and things, but I just never sorted through them and categorized them for doing videos with them. Um, and I've also just been talking about other things in my journal with me's um but finally here we are i'm going to in this voiceover i'm going to answer the random questions and then i have other categories that i'm going to answer in other videos so here's the first one that is random but first before i begin answering those i'm going to talk a little bit about the spread so it's two page spread um it's kind of like minimal colors in the first page uh yet a lot of layering and if you've seen some of my past journal with me's i've talked about how i like layering like I like that look in other people's journals and I really want to do that in mine and so I've been like practicing and trying it out and so I feel like I've reached what I like. I'm very pleased with my layering that I do. I think it's helped that I keep more scraps than I used to and actually use them and then also I've gotten a lot of new washi tapes that give that scrappy book type of vibe that I want. Um, so yeah, I save a lot of scrap paper. I've talked about this in the past at some point, but I really throw away paper because it's just wasteful. When I, mean, I could make use of those pieces in spreads like this, um, and I've been doing it more and more often, so all my scraps uh, are getting used up. So some of the scraps are just bits of paper that I just saved, like part of a bigger piece of paper, and I it helps that I filed them in like specific categories in little folders so that I can find them easier and not just they get lost in the pile and then I also use from my NCT irregular album that I cut up scraps and bits from that and then the ephemera pack that I bought off of Etsy a while ago the stickers that I used in this spread I got from Nico Neko Zakaya it's in East Village it's a stationery store I live in New York City if you've never seen one of my videos but in the East Village of New York City they have a little stationery store there, and it's an amazing place. I love it so, so much. Um, completely not sponsored, but my friends and I stumbled upon it a little while ago, and then I recently went back to it again with Emma, like, the other day, and I picked up some more stuff. And so those things I was using in this journal spread. I got some stickers and some washi tape, and they're just so beautiful so good love that store there's just always so much to look at a lot to like take in and just explore the store even though it's so small but it's so packed but so beautiful i don't know i recommend that as a place to go to in the city if you're ever around also just wandering around the east village is a great thing you should do if you visit the city it's just you find many nice things there but yeah let's talk about the random questions that i got the first question what a segue favorite place in NYC. I see if you say Gray Street I yeah Gray Street is a good place mostly because it's just in K-Town if you don't know what I'm talking about Gray Street is a cafe in Koreatown of New York City and I go there a little bit all the time and it's in all my vlogs and I post about it a lot but recently I've been you know cooling it because I get I know it can be repetitive but it's just a convenient cafe that is right near uh, where my friends and I buy our k-pop albums and it's just it's got memories and it's just a place that I like to go to you always have phases of places you go to once I got a comment that was like stop going to the same places like explore the West Village and I'm like yes I've been living here for two years New York City I've been everywhere maybe not everywhere obviously give me your recommendations if you have any but I've been to a lot of places and I just I like to go where I'm comfortable especially after I've gone through a rough week of school I'm just like I want to go somewhere I know but anyways that's not what the question is but Fidei is a cool place to explore there are a lot of like monuments and things around there to see there's a little restaurant cafe called Le Parisian down there that is just like I don't know, it's a random place that my sister once took me to and I love the French toast there. In Bushwick, there's also a nice breakfasty lunch place called Sally Roots that I like to go to as well. Bushwick is a great place to just explore as well. There are a lot of like 
thrift stores, antique stores, and things like that. Yeah, those are my few recommendations that I have. Moving on to the next one. How do you feel about the difference between the music you listen to from the music in your videos? So the music in my videos are all from Epidemic Sound. Many people fail to read that in the description of my videos. You can look in the description now and I have a referral link there if you want to check it out. But I use music specifically from there so that I don't get copyrighted and I choose that music because it's just it goes with the like aesthetic of my videos it's not necessarily music that I listen to every day obviously I listen to k-pop every day but I also before I ever got into k-pop I listened to folk music which I feel like is kind of similar to the music that I put in my videos and I still listen to folk music all the time I literally just made a new playlist um for this November, December time of non-K-pop songs. I never mix K-pop and like other music, folk music together in playlists on Spotify. I have my Spotify link down below if you want to check it out. It's just Katherine Karras, but linked down below as well. But I would, I don't, I can't really use K-pop music as background music for my videos. And plus that's just not my vibe for the videos, you know, just nice calm music. Next is what is your zodiac sign? I'm an Aquarius, true, to the bone Aquarius. Like if you read characteristics of an Aquarius, that is me, mostly. There are a few things that I'm like, what the hell? But mostly I am an Aquarius through and through. My birthday is January 31st. I was born in 2000. I am 19 as of right now. So Aquarius is. Next question is, do you like to write? The answer to that is absolutely no. I hate writing. I cannot write for the life of me. Writing as in like writing a paper or like writing a story or something. No, I'm just not good at it at all. So no, don't like writing. Um, I'd rather do other creative things like making physical art. What is your Enneagram and or Meyer Briggs type? My Enneagram I just took the other day and I'm a type 5 I think it was. I don't even remember. Yeah I think I'm type 5. I think that's what I told my friend. Yes. Um, and then my Myers-Briggs is INFJ, which is supposed to be the most rare type, but I know so many INFJs so I don't believe that. What is your favorite thing to do on a rainy day? Go in my bed and watch NCT videos. Like that is the plain simple truth. I'm not even gonna give, try and give you like another answer that's not K-pop, but like that's the that's the truth. Honestly, what I do. What are you currently reading? I'm currently reading Wicked Saints. I've been trying to find time to read in the train, but then it sucks when I don't have space in my bag to take the book with me. But I've been trying to read a physical book instead of audiobook. So that's what I'm currently reading. I do not know how far in I am because I don't even know where I put the book right now. But I haven't picked it up in like a hot sec. But I'm also reading for school Carmelucidia by Roland Barthes. It's required reading for school and I enjoy it, surprisingly. It's about photography because I go to school for photography. Did you write a journal when you were a kid? I did not really. I tried to do like diaries, air quote, but then I was, I always like, in my brain, I thought that I had to do it every day. Don't know why. Um, and so I'd always fail and be like, well, can't continue that again. But journaling in the sense of how I journal now, no, I did not at all. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast? Absolutely no. I have thought because I've gotten the question before and it's made me think, but I would never do a podcast because you don't even know how these voiceovers right now go. Like they're just not, they're edited a lot because I mess up what I'm saying or I say um a lot or I say anyways a lot and it kind of drives me crazy when I'm editing it through it. So trying to edit like an hour long podcast would be absolute hell. And I know I don't have to edit all that stuff out but I prefer to. It's more engaging when those things aren't interrupting every two seconds and even just like in regular conversation like if I did a podcast with somebody else like that wouldn't you don't yeah I just don't talk well at all I guess not trying to put myself down right now but I'm just telling you the truth how I see it I also don't even listen to podcasts I'm not very interested in podcasts I much rather watch documentaries instead um so I don't know that wouldn't really make sense if I made a podcast and I didn't even listen to podcasts, you know? Yeah, those are all of the random category questions that I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to stay tuned on my Instagram stories to see whenever I ask for questions again. It'll probably be a little while from now because I've got a lot of good questions sent in by you guys over on there. Sorry if you don't have an Instagram. Whenever I ask in videos for questions in the comments, I don't really get any, so you gotta find me on Instagram to ask those questions, I guess. But yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!
was yours on Sunday. While we watched the children play, we fell deep and love again, like we always do.